It says I'm live. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, hey, Rebecca. Rebecca's watching while doing dishes. Excellent. Glad to have you listening, Rebecca. We may have more joining us. Not, not sure yet. Um, but today I wanted to talk about getting started. Oh, we have a few more joining us. Excellent. Hey, Kelly. Hi. I just finished a class. So that's oh, nice. Super uh -oh. to have you. Hey, and Julie's here. Hey, Julie. Hello. I should have kept my costume on. <laughs> yeah. I just had a my out school class I was dressed up for and my VIP kid classes this morning. Really? Uh -huh. I was getting so hot because I was in that onesie. And it was great when I first woke up this morning to teach my uh, VIP kid classes. But then... As the morning went on, I'm like, this is just too hot today. <laughs> I love Manicam because I did not have to dress up in anything. And what was nice. so funny, if you don't mind me sharing for just a second. No, when, go for it. Um, when I have a child that I teach parts of the face. And so to be able to use some of the body parts, like this is my nose. <laughs> Okay. And here is my mouth and here are my ears. And so, and then these are my legs. So that's great. That, is so great. that was a lot. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah. I just fun. bought a new computer to be able to handle mini cam because right now my laptop that I've been using is having trouble even with what's installed on it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so It's nice to have, I bought, um, you know, I'm just so grateful for all of the things that I find out from online teachers. Um, and it's my journey certainly started with VIP kid teachers, and I'm so grateful. Uh, I know so much about technology now. Oh, wow. Everything, everything, everything yeah. I have <laughs> stolen and borrowed. And, you know, I think it was um, Picasso who once said uh, that stealing is a form of research. <laughs> and so, so I am grateful. Um, Kelly, I've learned so much from watching you and your videos. Thank you. And Cassie, what I learn from podcasting and some of the things the casual way you interact with people is just magical oh thanks <laughs> so thank you did, i yeah. just said cassie didn't i and so i'm used to it <laughs> many I'm people sorry. call me cassie <laughs> i just i'm sorry casey sorry yeah, about that because i'm so used to it <laughs> <laughs> well i'm so excited to have you guys to hear or have you guys here um, so Julie, do you use Manicam in the out school classes as well? Always. Yeah. Oh, Always. Man. Um, I don't think the, the stickers and I'm, it's harder, I think, because out school, I'm actually teaching and it's more interactive, um, that it's hard to switch from zoom to in to out, um, mm -hmm. with, with, VIP kid, I can easily maneuver in and out of the different stickers, the different kinds of um, things I can pull in and pull out. It's a little more right. difficult. I do use the backgrounds all the time. I don't know if there is a magical formula for using, um, and both of you may know the answer to this, for doing the introduction video or doing any videos mm. uh, using a Manicam background. And then when I uploaded it to OutSchool, it, mm. it, it didn't, it, there was a lot of lag. And mm. um, that's what I experienced. I don't know if you did. I haven't did. tried it. You know who mm -hmm. I would check with though? Did you guys know Amanda Panda teacher is coming out with a Manicam kindergarten to help people get started? She's making her I own didn't. course that you she takes you through step by step. I am enrolling. Yes. I know, right? That's what I told her too. <laughs> she really is a genius. Uh, Morgan Brown is another VIP kid yes. teacher. Mm -hmm. She does not live far from me. I am in oh, Kansas. Oh. She's in Nebraska. And so I called and said, I will drive there. Can you, <laughs> I need somebody to make it really specific yes. because, and this is a suggestion to anybody that does technology and um, 
I think marking it, at, like you just said, uh, Cassie, about um, beginners. I was a beginner, but a lot of times with some of these technology videos, they begin with such a stream of things I don't understand yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have this X power and want, 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 want. And then we can flip between this and this and this and that. And I'm still trying to figure out how, where's the on button. And say, so, yeah. <laughs> so to have somebody that can walk and I'm so tickled that Amanda Panda is going to be yeah. doing a video because her videos are awesome. Actually, she's making a whole course about it. I forget how many oh, weeks it is. Like great. a, step-by-step -step thing. Yeah. Yeah. I will it's, be it's there. So cool. I won't give it all away, but um, we'll have to ask her to add her freebie on here. She's got like a free part to it. So we'll Ooh. have to ask her, Amanda, if you're listening, I don't know if she's here right now. It's kind of early her time. So, um, all right, let's get into out school today. I actually was researching on the out school website, some of these things. So that's why I kind of wanted to add them because I thought they were really important. So how can we as teachers help other teachers have a great start on out school? You guys wanna, anybody wanna help me tackle this one? <laughs> uh, that's such a broad question. <laughs> well, I'll give you some topics. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about creating a great teacher application. Uh, maybe some profile tips, hints, guidelines type thing. Um, let's see. I have some teacher um, FAQs in here, maybe some troubleshooting some things for Zoom. So let's start okay. with the application. Does that sound all right? Yeah, so definitely sell yourself. It is not time to be humble. <laughs> You're trying to get a job. When you go on a job interview, you tell them your skills. Don't downplay anything. Tell them mm -hmm. what your strengths are. Don't tell them what your strengths are not. Uh, tell them some of your background and es expertise. Um, I got in when I think they weren't as picky, but um, so I hear they're being pickier now. So make sure maybe if you tell, give them some ideas of what you're going to teach and tell them how you're an expert in that area. Yeah. Um, I'm going to teach about elections. Well, I used to be a social studies teacher. I used to work in politics, you know, I, you, something like that. So yeah, you need to sell yourself. Say what your strengths are. Yeah. Uh, as a teacher, that's what my background is in. My doctorate's in education. So I've worked with student teachers a long time. And the reason I bring this up is for this. When we talk to teachers about mm -hmm. lesson plans, it's not about what I do. It's about what will students know and be able to do. Kelly is a master at this. Mm -hmm. uh, students, I could tell them, I will teach you the alphabet and, and then I will use my felt board and show you how to uh, create alphabet letters by using different toys that I have in my classroom. I have outstanding props. I, 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 I no, <laughs> <laughs> that is um, what we try to do instead. Like Kelly was talking about mm -hmm. this, your child will be able to write the letters and say the letters out loud. Think of verbs. You want to use strong verbs that the students will be able to do. Like Kelly right. said, it's not the time to be shy. I have a few videos. Kelly has a lot of videos. So I really encourage you to look at either Cassie's or Kelly's videos. They've got some really strong hints. And that's the second thing I'd like to recommend is as you're thinking about what's on a good video, go find some people that are as school teachers as we three are and yeah. watch their videos and then model. That's what we do as teachers. We share, we model, and then we practice. Yeah, I have my profile video and class video examples on, on my channel, so yeah. Great, I have videos like why I was denied the first time. <laughs> because Learn I from was. mistakes. That's okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good video to totally watch. Totally me misreading a portion of the application. I just misunderstood what it was asking me to do. And it wasn't until somebody was on this channel and told us how to do, I think it was Tamara. And I was like, oh, that's what they're looking for. And it hit me and I was hired like within an hour of fixing that mistake. Yeah. I was like, oh, so 
Now, according to OutSchool, I'm going to I'm going to read to you what their review process is so that you know right away. So what they're looking for are teachers who have experience working with young learners or are excited to learn, are experts in the field and have knowledge and passion to share. And I think that's kind of important because um, you don't want to teach about physics if you don't know much about it. You know, you, you are not marketing yourself well either because you might get a student in there and they're not going to like your course and getting bad reviews really hurts getting other students. Mm -hmm. um, you wanna be, bring creative and original class ideas, have excellent written communication skills, are ready to provide stellar customer service to outschool families, are full-time residents of the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, or Canada. Um, it talks about, and it's, even if you don't have very good grammar, I am not the best at grammar. Have somebody check it. They talked about people sending in their applications with spelling and grammar mistakes. You need to have somebody look it over. There's, I think, you know, <laughs> I don't think, I know. And um, I think it's I, important to, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I think it's important to be honest oh, about yeah. who you are because chances are very good you will be questioned about it. Like I saw somebody that had PhD listed by their name. I have a, and and I thought, great, but she did not use, it was either a spelling error or she didn't know. It looks like if you don't check your work that you don't know. But the, but, and this was a class that was posted on OutSchool with the initials not listed correctly. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the description was filled with spelling and, oh. and uh, grammatical errors. Yeah. Cassie brought up an important point. Mm -hmm. I've been writing and editing for years. And sometimes I look at my own material for so long that yeah. I cannot see the mistakes anymore. It's just, and so it's important to have, especially with an application or uh, the teacher um, introduction, have somebody look at that, check it over. Because yeah. if you've spent a lot of time self-checking, oftentimes we miss the mistakes that we made. Right. Yes. yes. I'll be the first to admit I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrible with it, but I always have somebody check something over. So. Yeah. And also like, if you don't have someone else to check it, what, what I'll do is wait a day. Sometimes just stepping away from it and coming yeah, back, yeah. you'll see the mistake. So. Right. Yeah. I tend to read it like it's supposed <laughs> to be. So I miss my own mistakes or yeah. I write like I speak, which, you know, being from Boston, I don't always have my <laughs> my R's in places and my commas in the right spot. Hey, teacher Tori. Hey, Jason. Thanks for coming. So the next thing it says is provide detailed information. Our team uses this application to get to know you and decide if you'll be a good fit for the platform. Take the time to share detailed and relevant information about your experience, your expertise, and class ideas. So, and they said, remember, they might not be familiar with all the different organizations out there. So you might need to tell them, you know, what it is. Mm. So I thought that was interesting. It says the easier it will be for our team to see your potential. Yeah, that's, and I, I got in when they were still pretty easy on teachers, but that's mm -hmm. kind of what I did in my intro video. And what I did is I tried to say like, these are all the experiences I have. And I could yeah. teach, possibly teach this, this, or this. So, yeah. Great. Jason said, I wait and then come back to read my writing out loud. I find so many errors when I read it out loud. Yeah. I, I always have to read it out loud, too. Great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget the video. <laughs> the video lesson gives our team the opportunity to see what your out school classes might be like. Teach us something new. Demo one of your favorite classroom activities or even teach a sample lesson. <clears throat> sample lesson to someone in your household. Julie, what was yours about? My video, I'm so proud of my video for some very specific reasons. Okay. I'm a TED speaker and I speak throughout the country to uh, schools about how do we have conversations about tough topics. Uh, mm -hmm. I do a lot of public speaking coaching, um, particularly about uh, relevant issues, particularly with high school students. But anywho, I have spent 
hundreds of dollars throughout my career hiring videographers, and I was never pleased with the results. I finally mustered up all the courage in my little heart and stomped across my front yard to the <laughs> next door neighbor, and I hired for 20 bucks an hour the 16 year old living in that house. I had my iPad and said, can you help me? <laughs> and he did two things. He showed me that I got a beautiful video from using my iPhone. Mm -hmm. And he showed me how to use my iPad to use iMovie to edit it. To edit, yeah. Now, to, I spent probably 48 hours in video land hell. <laughs> trying to figure it out because there is a point where we can be shown. There is a point where we can watch YouTube videos about video making, right. but sooner or later, our fingers have got to hit the keys mm -hmm. and we've got to do it on our own. Once I learned, I got it. And it's not that hard, but it does take work. Yeah, definitely. I need to and hire someone to help me with my email funnel <laughs> oh god that's a whole different thing yes <laughs> <laughs> you're not there yet julie <laughs> oh honey no no still learning <laughs> good so um let's see i think that's really about it on the application do you guys have anything else you wanted to talk about on out school i do want to say there are some samples so go check them out yeah i don't know i got in before they were requiring you to teach a lesson on the video. I don't, I can't speak to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just pretty much showed how I would teach letters to my students. <laughs> that's, that's what I did because that is my niche. That's my, my, my baby is the babies. So I love teaching letters and sounds and reading. Julie, I don't know how you do what you do. <laughs> I was just thinking the same about you, the same thing. I think there's a special cloud in heaven for, for uh, the littles. I, I, I just, I, yeah, I just. <laughs> so many people tell me that and I'm like, are you kidding me? Mm, I would no. take the babies over big kids any day. Yeah, I, I am. And this is a bit of advice that I'll throw out here as well. Um, I started out doing, even though out school is for ages three through 18, I started crafting my lessons at first and I still have some for kids 15 to 18. Mm -hmm. And then I got a lot of requests. I started with public speaking skills for kids 15 to 18, uh, some teen talk classes about how to set smart goals, how to talk to a oh. friend about suicide. But then I started getting questions about, can we have a public speaking class for the younger guys from 11 through 15? I started to get a lot more, uh, attract a lot more students. And what yeah. I am fighting is that I, I created a whole nother series for kids seven to 11. Oh. And I'm finding that the, my classes for seven through 12, seven through 13 are the ones that get the most traction in terms of attracting students. Wow. The younger yes. ones. We what do, do you need think, to Kelly? say that Julie is, certified license to teach these very specific topics. This, not mm -hmm. anyone can jump on there and teach these, right? Julie, you mm -hmm. have a spot that you have to fill out and everything for it, correct? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah exactly. I think I understand your question. Can I ask, <laughs> I, I don't think I understand your question. What, what can you I knew, say the I knew the answer to my question, so it was kind of a statement, and then I'm like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> then I'll go, yeah, then we'll just go with it. Okay, <laughs> on yeah. to the next, <laughs> move Basically, on. Basically, I just wanted to say that people, there are certain topics that not just anyone can jump on out school and teach. There are certain topics that you have to have a degree or some type of certification in. Right. <laughs> right. Like Julie, you have a special degree to be able to talk to kids about suicide and not right. every, nobody, I can't, talk, I can't do that. Casey can't do that. Right. right. So just people watching, not everybody can do that. Yeah. Right. And out school, I have had all of my classes approved within less than 24 hours with the exception of my uh, talking to a friend about suicide class. And that took a week. And I knew it was going to take a week. I'm mm -hmm. glad it took a week. I knew I was going to get approved because this is what I do for a living. I 
talk to schools about kids with, uh, about how do we have these conversations about mental illness and some other issues, but, and it will come back if you, however you want to craft your introduction, if you don't know what you're talking about, it will come back in the form of re parent reviews. Yeah. yeah. And so mm. you really want to be careful. And with mm. that, I will add, there's been, I, I know I see a lot of things in the Facebook um, and then I'm going to be quiet for a while in some of the Facebook chat. So <laughs> somebody quiet. stole my ideas mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I want mm -hmm. to be real clear about this. I, I give away all of my ideas. And the reason I do that is because <laughs> none of our, very few of our ideas are original, but are the thing that is uniquely us is our delivery and how mm -hmm. we to teach it. Um, yeah. and so, yeah. Yeah, that's craft original material and then own it, right? Yeah, <laughs> see, I think in the Facebook groups, the, the people that were copying were literally copying and pasting everything the person wrote, like went to their description, copy and pasted. So that yeah. was, I think, the problem there. Yeah. Yeah, some people are very kind and will say someone stole my material and I don't appreciate it. I saw it happen once and I've never had a problem with it again. I use names. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Julie, Julie's a beast in, <laughs> in the group. She will make sure there's no bullying or anything. And I think it's good though. I was in a group, I think it was the, the VIP kid friends group. And I saw a post that could have easily gotten out of hand and nobody did. Nobody was negative towards this person, but the same post was in another group and they lit her up. And I was like, it is just a difference of groups. Many of us are in both groups too, you know? And it just, I don't know. I was really shocked and happy because I am in that VIP kid friends group and they weren't being rude to that person. So are you um, an administrator of the VIP kid friends group, Cassie? What's that? Am Are I you one? an administrator of that group? No, Melissa is. What's your group? My group is VIP Kid Collaboration Station. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's positive. It's very positive. Shout out. Yeah. To I try. Mm -hmm. I. We haven't had anything, although we don't have a lot of big discussions or anything in there. It's mostly just collaborating. So that's kind of an easier, <laughs> an easy thing. Um, Tori said, same here. The oldest I taught in the classroom was third grade. I feel I can be silly with the four and five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and hey, Cindy Bennett, thanks for coming. She said, you are awesome, Julie. And copying is very bad. It's called plagiarism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, so here are some, what one should we do next? I'm trying to think. I probably should have had it ready. How about teacher background checks? I thought this was interesting um, because it's different depending on the country. Did you guys Cindy think about should that? be on for this one. What's <laughs> Cindy that? took over a month. Cindy should be on for this question. <gasps> That's she right. took over a month for her background check. I think That's right. The yeah, long Rebe go. Rebecca said you can steal ideas and make it your own, but don't take it word for word. I agree too. I think um, somebody using my ideas is like a really good form of flattery, but I wouldn't want to see word for word on everything. I'd be like, hey, but um, I mean, I teach letters and sounds. How many kindergarten and preschool teachers teach letters and sounds? But I think it's important for you to do your own spin, you to make your own thumbnail. You know, my thumbnail is going to be totally different than somebody else's, I would hope. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, hey, Danny, thanks for coming. Rebecca said she loves positive Facebook groups. Me too. Um, let's see. So background checks <laughs> for, for the states. I mean, I know they kind of just, they put us into a checker system. Okay, it says at this time, checker can only perform US background checks for applicants residing within the 50 states, but not including Puerto Rico, Guam and other US territories. It generally takes a few business days for checker background to to be completed for U.S. applicants. Um, let's see. Unless you're Cindy. That takes Unless over you're a Cindy. Poor Cindy. <laughs> Poor Cindy. Oh, Danny said she's painting a green screen, and Cindy said no problems on the iPad group so far. Yeah, and 
And Cindy has a ton of people in that group. So that's, that's really cool. Uh, Cindy said she can't wait to see Danny on the green screen. I think that's, ooh, Danny, I can't wait to get going on green screen with my new computer. Totally read that wrong. Okay, so information for teachers really quick from Australia and New Zealand. Um, checker is set up to perform background checks in these countries. However, the process will take longer than it does for the US and Canada. So if you're from Australia, New Zealand, I know we had somebody from Australia recently on here. Um, I want to let you know that it says it could take about a month. So I really I recommend do not take some of these, how long it takes a class, how long it takes right. to hear back from your, from after you've submitted your interview or background check, do not take it personally there's several people that are involved in the process i definitely recommend if you've submitted your background check or submitted your application or your video if it gets rejected do it again because right. you don't mm -hmm. just do it again and don't take it personally that's part of what we do and it's part mm -hmm. of our business yeah so, like i said mine yes. was totally me <laughs> i just read it wrong so I need to check out. I have an out school class to teach. So I will see everybody Bye, later. Julie. Thanks, Julie. Kelly, I want to talk to you about your dolls in the background. And let me ask <laughs> one more question. Did you, I saw a question in one of the Outlook, Outlook, I keep calling it Outlook, out school things. Mm -hmm. I saw a class about the election process. Was that you? Are you uh, teaching a class? I mean, no, I had one that didn't really take off. So it probably wasn't me. Yeah. I want to find out more about those dolls and do you use them for teaching? I do. I have an American Girl Tea Party, which I had. I had a Halloween one right before I came on here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Ah! We play games and yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay. I got to go. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> so the last thing for the background check would be information for teachers from England or Wales. Teachers from the UK will complete background checks through a service called Accurate. So um, it just says you'll receive an email invitation within two business days from OutSchool and that to complete your check via Accurate. So so I, I, I don't know why I found that interesting, just that it's different, um, different countries, different checks. So I just figured I'd let people know. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like, so none of the territories can work there. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, cool. All right, so let's see, I keep checking the chat. I think most of the people in the chat are already um, out school teachers, but if you have any questions for us, please leave them, um, leave them in the chat and let us know what did you do your profile video on? I want to know if somebody was teaching or and how long it was. Do you mean do you mean the uh, the application video or the profile one on your profile that parents see? I'm thinking profile video, but either or. What is yours like? Okay. My profile video is actually on my channel. Mm -hmm. um, the one I used in the application, honestly, I didn't think was that good, and and I think if I had that use that one when they were pickier. I don't think, I, I don't think, think they would have like said yes, but I got in when they were like needing teachers and accepting everybody. But yeah, my pro, the one I have on my out school profile is on my channel. So. Okay. Yeah, so profile videos should be 30 to 90 seconds in length. Um, it says required 10 seconds to five minutes long, but it's recommended 30 to 90 seconds. Clearly, you want to show your face, which makes sense. Um, I would say in your in your teaching area. Um, Cindy said her application one was different than the one on the website for parents. Right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I, I do know people who use the same one, but mine's... Oh, really? Cause, yeah, because I was, for the application video, trying to appeal to the people hiring you in the application. And then the profile, you're trying to appeal to parents and students right. to come. So to me, they were different, but I have known people who use the same one. I don't remember now. <laughs> I have to go back and look. Well, you Any taught a lesson on the ones that you sent in right. for getting hired, right? Do you, did, did, you have... didn't use that one for your... No, I have two separate ones. Yeah. 
Cindy said, my good one and the original bad one are both in my channel. I got rejected on the first try for out school. Yeah, me too, Cindy. Um, they said, but good that's learning. good. That makes it. Sorry, I was just gonna say that makes a good video because that helps too. People can learn from your mistakes. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, no background noise, good lighting and speak clearly and in an engaging manner. So Steve always tells me like, whenever I'm doing um, YouTube videos, I read like this instead of trying to read up here towards people. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm not really engaging, I guess, when I'm trying to read. Um, so just check out some of the guidelines on OutSchool. We don't have to go over any unless somebody has um, questions about it. There are some technical things it's talking about framing yourself and things like that. Um, but what you wanna say, you wanna introduce your name, introduce yourself with your full name. You wanna briefly go over any professional background that you have, mention your experiences or education that'll help you build your credibility. Um, state the topics or specific classes that you're hoping to teach on OutSchool. Describe your teaching style or philosophy around teaching and be personable and connect with parents and their learners. Tell a fun fact about yourself or what you're interested in. So I thought that was pretty easy. Some real easy guidelines that people could use to, to get started on their profile video. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do wanna mention down below is Kelly OutSchool um, referral link. I did. I didn't know if Rebecca was coming today. Hers is on there too. I need to add Julie's. I think Casey's is on there too. I wasn't sure who was coming in today. So, but um, if you're ever on one of these collaborations, we all um, should have our links down below. I've tried to go back to old videos and make sure everyone's on there. Um, so if somebody resonates with you or you make a connection with somebody, use their link. So I try to list everybody's. <laughs> um, let's see. Have you had any troubles on the platform as far as like Zoom issues or anything during classes? I only had um, only one time I had problems getting into Zoom. Unfortunately, too, it was like the very first day of a new section of a oh. class. So, you know, I'm on time to every single class. So it wasn't right. a good first impression. But luckily, it was an ongoing class and the kids came back oh. every week. Good. And I, I got an email from one of the parents, like my son's in tears. He's trying to get in and you won't let him in the class. So I addressed it on the classroom page. Like, look, I, I'm really sorry. I was trying on three different devices to get in. Yeah. And, and that same parent was like, it was okay. The class ended up being great. So oh, luckily, so, from, yeah, but I had problems once, once. Nice. Um, there is a teacher troubleshooting tips page on the OutSchool um, website. I would suggest checking that out before you start teaching with OutSchool too. I mean, it's good if you have trouble to go and look at it, but it's also good to know um, a few things ahead of time. For example, um, it says if you're unable to get onto the Zoom meeting via start live meeting button on the classroom for any reason, please let your learners know right away, like Kelly said she had to do by posting a note to the classroom page to experience that you're, to tell them that you're experiencing technical difficulties. Um, and then it says, try another device, like a cell phone. I didn't know you could teach out school on a cell phone. Yeah, anything that has Zoom, it's, I taught, oh, okay, I said one time, there was another time I taught on an iPad. It ended up being, so my iPad's a backup for uh, out school, not just VIP. Right. So I, that one, the class started on time, but yeah, there's, it's a little harder to navigate. You got to press a few more buttons, but it worked. I taught one full class on it. So, okay. Yeah. And on this page, it also tells you how to go in and give parents refunds. So I thought that was interesting because I've had to ask Kelly and Rebecca several times how to do it. If you go to the teacher troubleshooting page, you could actually find it um, there as well. Um, but there is like three pages of possible troubleshooting things that you could um, learn. So, yeah. Do you have anything else to add to that, Kelly? I think that's kind of... No. Yeah, I think it's kind of, I mean, not something I want to spend a lot of time on. I just wanted to mention that it is there. I feel like Kelly today, like I'm reading the news. I have all my, <laughs> all of my paperwork here. <laughs> so... Kelly has um, VIP Kid and Go Go Kid, VIP Kid and Go Go Kid News every Tuesday on her channel. So check that out. 
especially if you're like me and you don't feel like reading emails or anything, you can just listen to Kelly go over everything while you're like cleaning and doing feedback. It's really great. It's like I can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> well, that's not a very nice yeah. thing. Yeah, someone told me to start adding out school, but they they don't have like, like a specific day, like every Tuesday. Like yeah, I was telling you on I was telling you to do that on the last live. Remember, like you need to add out school. Oh. On the <laughs> Maybe oh. I will. Speaking of that, next week, instead of going live at 1130 Eastern, we're going live at noon. And, um, oh, his name just, like, I just blanked it out. We have a visitor coming on, a special visitor. And he's going to be um, talking about outschool.org. Um, Jason, right? Justin. Justin Dent is his name. So he is, um, he works for outschool. <laughs> He works for OutSchool for OutSchool.org. <coughs> Can you tell them? <coughs> I'll go ahead, Casey. I'll, I'll talk for a minute. So she's having somebody from uh, OutSchool.org, which uh, the last town hall meeting, they talked all about that. So if you need financial assistance and you want to take OutSchool classes, go to uh, OutSchool.org. Wow, that was a rough one. <laughs> my eyes are all watering. Whew. Wow, my throat got super dry all of a sudden. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, so he will be here next week at noon. So um, hopefully we can ask lots of questions there. I found outschool.org to be very um, motivating. They help families, or we, I guess we're all part of outschool, right? Help families um, that cannot afford classes to be able to take some of our classes, so... We'll learn more about that next week. If you have any questions you'd like to ask him, you can send them to me um, and I will put them in our group and we will ask Justin um, answers to your questions. So, <clears throat> okay, so I was in a discussion just this morning. Somebody was asking me about OutSchool and then of course in this Facebook group, many people jumped on and was like, oh, they charge 30%, blah, 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 blah. Kelly, you want to go for that first since you're the one that taught me about. <laughs> yeah. So even with, go ahead, you can mute if you need to. Even with the 30%, you still make pretty good money. You make uh, more money than VIP kid. And uh, especially group classes. Imagine if you, if I were, I do a lot of book classes, I would have to go find the students, go advertise. They advertise on Facebook. I've seen my own classes. I've seen my friends' classes. Uh, and they advertise in different ways. And um, yeah, I, I think it's, I think they're being pretty generous. I think it's pretty worth it. And like I said, even with the 30%, you're making good money. It's because you're only charging a little bit to the student you get several that enroll, you know, yeah. you can add up. So yeah, they, they use it wisely. They market for you. They provide the platform. They get the students. Yeah. And of course they have to, there's people that will and approve the courses and all that they have to pay. So yeah. I, um, I made $77 my first hour in out school. I had two classes, almost back to back, both 30 minutes, and I had 11 learners in there. So I thought that was great. <laughs> so I use that example all the time. I'm like, I didn't have to like market myself so much. I mean, you do, you have to do some internal things, of course, but um, out school had it up on Facebook one time and that was really helpful. What does out yeah, school offer and for teachers? What's that? Oh. Oh, no, I was, yeah, I was going to say, um, you can market your classes, but, you know, and when things were hot in the summer, I don't think I did any marketing. And it was, I've, my best selling classes, I've made like a hundred dollars an hour if you have a full class. So yeah, it's great money potential. Great. Um, let's see. What does that school offer teachers? We offer a platform for teachers to organize, promote, and deliver online classes. That's another thing I didn't even mention that in that Facebook group is we're using their platform. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, beautiful online listings for your classes, access to our community of learners, secure online payments. We're not having to deal with payments coming back and, you know, 
integrated video chat platform and messaging, responsive support via chat and email. Um, I have emailed them once or twice and received help like super quick. So that was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of classes can people teach? We kind of talked about oh, that. Anything. Yeah, I mean, and when we say any, we mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> like there's classes on how to tie your shoe. You and from from three to eighteen. I mean, every everything. Yeah. I mean, you heard Julie was doing counseling. I mean, thermodynamics to like fun classes that mm -hmm. are just for socialization. Yeah. anything and and literally people have full semester like third grade full semester to like just yeah. halloween fun party i mean cindy has everything. um fi finger knitting classes i know mindy has some brain break classes rebecca has some fun um science classes danny's got some pe classes on there i'm trying to think of everybody in here jason are you a teacher on out school yet He's probably too busy. He's like finishing up school. Maybe he just finished and VIP kid. I know that. So <clears throat> and I think Tori and is in the same age. Group as me. What's that? Uh, he oh. isn't, doesn't he work at a college too? Something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Kim has craft. Well, I didn't know Kim had crafting classes. Awesome. I know she did some cool, like color the seasons classes. So you can pretty much teach whatever you're passionate about. Find something fun um, that you enjoy teaching. And I taught about caves. I love science. My cave ones were, were pretty good. Yeah, there's classes about poop and farting. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> can I? Yeah. And I want to just tell, um, so when I was new, brand new, I remember discussing with my daughter, like, oh, Harry Potter is really popular. Maybe I should do that. Here's the thing. I never read the Harry Potter books. I don't have a passion about it. So I would be, uh, you know, competing against people who read it since they were children and loved it. So right. stick with what you love, with what you know, with what you're good at. Don't try to do something just because it's popular and it makes a lot of money because then that'll show that you're not passionate about it. Too, right, you know? very good. <clears throat> so the requirements to get started out of school, you don't need a bachelor's degree, 18 years old in the countries we mentioned earlier. <clears throat> um, yeah, there's not a whole lot. I mean, it says be at least 18, verify your identity. So they're gonna run a criminal background check on you. Um, possess technical know-how to effectively run online classes. That is something you can learn. I would suggest um, learning before your first class, making yourself feel comfortable. Um, meet community of yeah, standards. And there's, yep. Being professional. Uh, I was just gonna say there's a lot, there's uh, YouTubers out there that have videos. How do you Zoom for out school? So there's right. many teachers have done that for you. Yeah. And I think that's about it. If there are no other questions, um, I, that is all I have. Yeah, Cindy said, share your pets class. <laughs> Speaking of pets, I need to go get my little, not little, my big puppy. <laughs> He's doing good. He's getting even bigger. Oh, I have a video coming out, Kelly. I found out what kind of dog he is. He's like oh. four different what? dogs in one, but um, they're all big, big dogs. <laughs> so okay. He's a um, Labrador Retriever, Great Pyrenees, Pitbull, and one other one that I can't think of. So, wow. Yeah, all big, big dogs. <laughs> it says your dog will be 50 uh -huh. to 80 pounds. <laughs> He's over 60 <laughs> at almost mm -hmm. nine months. So, super fun. That's all I have. Kelly, do you have anything else to add? Uh, that's it. Yay. Well, thanks for coming on here with me again. I appreciate seeing you no again on a Saturday. It is Saturday. Thanks right? for having me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And thanks in the, in the chat. You guys are awesome as usual and happy Halloween, everybody. We hope you have a great happy night. Happy Halloween. Goodbye. Bye.